Cliff Barrow. I come to the plaza to, uh, I got a little rap for that, to make my ends meet. You know, I do every day, I, well, in the summertime, I tutor kids. I you know, the bad kids at New Hope Academy. A small town called Bradley, Arkansas. But nice, good and nice people everywhere you go. I need some money and I'm out here to get some. I feel a cold but my hand won't get numb. Like a volcano when it gets ready to eat rough. My hands are shaking but I'm gonna shake this till you're feeling up. It's getting warm when it's getting ready to oh no. I'm gonna shake it, I'm gonna shake it to it old folks. So give me a five, give me a ten, give me a twenty here. Give me a hundred, I'll make that mug disappear. Tight and I'll wrap it for my pole pole. When Santa comes, he's gonna give me another ho. My rap is good. If you try to put me in a bag, the motherfucker, I can what? South Dallas sweat. That was way back in 1975, the president's for my senior class. I'm called Bradley, Arkansas. Bradley. I am from Little Rock, Arkansas. I have a lovely wife, three kids. The unemployed versus committing a crime, doing anything wrong to hurt my children and my wife or myself. I put all pride aside and ask people for help to support my family. Only through the grace of God is if you ask, you will receive. Your blessings may not come, then continue to have faith, they'll come. Why he didn't like find a crate like everyone else, like you're mm -hmm. just on crutches. Mm -hmm. eh, it could be a sympathy factor. I, I mean, honestly, he is here all the time. Okay, we can go not, back and ask There her. is yeah. not a morning I am here that I don't see him, and truthfully, there's not a night that I leave that I don't see him. Do you want to record it? Or you... I am, yeah. Oh, cool. No, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I should have told you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> So like, what do you guys like think about them like, you know, standing outside and stuff? Like before you started working here, did you like think differently than now that you know more about them? Well, I mean, I've always grown up in Kansas City and they've always been down here. So you come down here and you just kind of accept it as part of the plaza. Yeah, yeah I mean, truthfully, they've honestly been here since I've been coming here. And I, I've been coming to the plaza by myself or with friends since I was probably 13 or 14. Yeah. And yeah, you get asked. It's just kind of a commonplace thing about being on the plaza. You get asked for money. It's kind of, I don't know, you can ignore it, which I usually do, or like say, you know, no, not today. It's just kind of an accepted part of being on the plaza. Well, I don't think it's people's place to tell people what to do, mm -hmm. um, and usually people have a story as to why they're actually, you know, panhandling on the plaza and things like that. Lots at night, things like that, but no, homeless people in no way, shape, or form contribute to the issues the plaza has.